Once upon a time, there was a software called PixInsight. It was the best of all, and still a nightmare to work with. But then came a wizard on a white stallion, and his name was Frank. And piece by piece, he built out of PixInsight what everybody dreamed it should be. End of the story. The newest magic trick of Frank? Right after the trailer. Hey, this is Fear Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So you might have seen the video 6 scripts which I recently released and which contain 5 of the magic tricks of Frank. And you sometimes wonder, is there still something to do? And then we realize, yes, there was something else. And today it's about blind solving. It's all about these oddities of Pixinsight, which we kind of accept because it simply is like that, but we shouldn't be like that. Because with softwares like Nina or so on, we're absolutely used that it plates off the sky. Without that we have to tell each and everything, it just does it. So technologically, there was no reason why we had to give all these details into the image solver that PixInsight could solve our picture. And today, Frank released a blind solver and just proved once again that things we thought would never happen actually are possible. And actually Frank mentions mostly the what is script as the main use case for this blind solving. But from my point of view, what is much more crucial is SPCC. We need to have the picture solved for SPCC and SPCC is an integral part of our processing. It's actually one of the few great things that PixInsight itself built into the software. But sometimes when we get pictures from somewhere or we take some old pictures, we struggle to remember all the details to place all of the picture and hence be able to use SPCC. And I personally always experience what the struggle that is if some of my patrons ask, could you actually process this picture and see what you can do? And then I always have to say, what's your scope? What's your camera? Did you wrestle? At which time did you record the picture? And so on and so on. And all just for the purpose of image solving it for SPCC. So that is all gone now. So I really believe this is a big step in the right direction. And so let's go now to the computer and I will show you how easy it is. Okay, welcome to my computer. So here I have an example picture. It's the Omega Nebula, but given how unpopular the Omega Nebula is, you might not know what this is. And there's a lot of stars and that's it. So what to do? Let's go to script, SETI Astro. And by the way, if you have not yet downloaded SETI Astro, the repository, you find the link in the description below. You should anyway, for all his million of great scripts, actually download it. And if you have updated, you will find out here the Blind Solver 2000. I don't know, 2000 sounds a little bit retro to me. Probably it's the year PixInsight actually should have introduced this Blind Solver. <laughs> anyway, let's click on it. So here select image, if you have more than one image, ensure that you have the right image selected. Now here astrometry API key, here you have to enter the API key. How do you get to this key? You go to your browser of your choice and in the browser you enter nova.astrometry.net, you find the link in the description below. Here you log in, if you have never logged in, just log in with Google or anything, and then you go on API. And that's it, here in API on the green, you find this key. This is free, everybody can have one, no problem. Just copy it and go back to PixInsight. Here we paste this key and now as you anyway, as your purpose is to solve this picture, just select here, perform full image solver after astrometry. 
astrometry.net solution collected. Just say start plate solve. And it might take about a minute and then it's finished and immediately the image plate solver script opens. Now it will give you everything and I know this is correct because it's for me. What it doesn't give you is the date. And if you just click then OK, kind of picks insight, complains that you do not enter a date. And if you know anything like a year, like a month, just enter whatever you think. I anyway had the feeling that this is not so crucial, the date and time. I always entered it very approximately and it always worked. So then say OK and it image solves the thing. OK, and that's it. The picture is solved. And now you can do SPCC or use the SETI Astro script, what's in my image or whatever you want to do with it. Everything's fine. Another problem solved. Thanks a lot to Frank. We can just wait and see what magic trick comes next. I will definitely cover it on this channel. So that was it, short and sweet. I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you again by the next video. Until then, clear skies.